money from my wallet roll out because this thing is coming out very soon too soon before we drool over how awesome optimus prime is let just one fact sink in in your heads hasbro is collabing with lego repeat that again hasbro is collabing with lego this is the first major collaboration between those two companies ever uh, basically it's a special type of licensing that hasbro is giving to lego to make the optimus prime there is even a logo on the side of the box showing the exact two company logos nothing like that happened between those two companies before that is a significant thing and another major cool fact about this set is that the designer that designed this at lego worked previously at hasbro on transformers so basically the best two things could have happened for this set and that's why it's probably so awesome 170 bucks june first release very soon and we have 1508 pieces if that's a good price tag probably not because as uh, some early reviews suggest the set is mostly built using just stacking of your classic bricks there's not even any special uh, any specialty elements included in this set it's mostly because of the simplicity of the optimus prime it's mostly done with classic regular bricks and also the functionality that makes this uh, guy transform into his track form is uh, kind of requiring the ease and simplicity of typical lego bricks because it's all kind of cubic fashion we all know that the set is awesome what are the drawbacks no knee joints that's something that you know we can take as a flaw in this set it has functionality of transform but no i guess lego has some problem with knee joints in most uh, mech looking things not only that guy but also ninja go knee joints are just not a thing for lego for some reason and I don't know, maybe some people wanted the uh, Michael Bay version of the uh, Optimus Prime, but we're getting the G1 classic Transformers version, which I think is the most iconic and the most recognizable. And again, remember, LEGO is trying to hit those nostalgia vibes to get the most sales of, you know, old school AFOs. Really enjoying the box art, super clean, super elegant, goes with, goes with the uh, color scheme of the Optimus Prime very well. You can see the head design is pretty darn great. It's really, really well made matching. And even I think the track form is gonna look great. There's uh, some stickers included. So, you know, you may think that man, that's kind of a cheap move for a collectible a historical set of that magnitude. I agree if you say so, plus the price tag, you know, price to piece ratio is not the best. So at least we could have gotten some exclusive prints. But as far as the front of the truck goes or his belly basically, or the legs, those are clearly stickers so that's something i'm not a big fan of i guess that's something we have to live with as far as accessories go we have the detachable jetpack and plethora of things that optimus prime is using the matrix of leadership the energon cube energon axe and his ion blaster as well also a different faceplate uh, depending if you are a truck version or the optimus prime robot version the plaque itself is interesting because it's different than your typical ucs plaque it doesn't really list the types of weapons Optimus Prime is using or its role. I mean, it says Commander, but you usually get some specs of the actual machine. But here we have sort of an RPG lineup of specs. Strength, Intelligence, Speed, Endurance, Rank, Courage, Firepower, Skill. So that could mean two things. It's just LEGO being, you know, extra fun and cheesy about this and just creating this kind of different plaque. Or... Uh, there's gonna be something in the future that this is gonna those stats will compare to full Decepticons lineup full Autobots lineup perhaps something that we're gonna have and we're gonna be able to play tabletop games with these guys and fight the robots and each other that would be cool but I, I guess I'm just too far stretched kind of theory here uh, but nevertheless it's cool to see a different UCS plug from your typical specifications sheet the transformation function as you can see there is no assembly or disassembly in that case required it transforms as your typical Transformers Optimus Prime toy should. It resembles all those toys from the 80s, from the 90s that created the G1 Optimus Prime and I'm all for it. So it's nothing like even if we had with the Voltron, right? You had some, remove some parts, move things around and all that. But here everything is thought in a way that it works as a proper Transformer. That is something that I think if it wasn't done that way, a lot of the fans would be quite disappointed. And the truck looks good. You know, it's nothing in the likes of a creator expert car or anything like it. 
but given the compromises required to make it work that way, I think they nailed they nailed it pretty well. You know, you gotta change the faceplate for to have a, a bumper rather than part uh, parts of the Optimus Prime, but that's the only change you have to make really. Everything else just lines up in place. Uh, you can watch some early reviews to see how it actually is done. That graphic doesn't really show very well exactly all the movements, but you can see the use of joints, of ratcheted joints, uh, just some great, clever piece fitting to make it work. You know, this set, this this uh, Optimus Prime as, as, a, as a thing in the lore was created by mock builders multiple times over, and I think everybody had a different approach on how to complete the transformation. In that case, Lego went for like a simple route, but achieved this while maintaining the looks to some degree. So I don't mind maybe of the track being a little blocky on the windshield or whatever, maybe having this weird section here with a little tiny side window. That's okay, it still resembles the track that Optimus Prime transforms to, and I'm all for that. By the way, as I look at this, I believe that might be a sticker. I didn't watch many reviews just yet, so I didn't pay attention that clearly, but I think I don't see any edges. So the actual Autobots logo is a print. So there's gonna be some exclusive prints including the set, most likely. Also, as you enhance this section here, you can store the ion weapon in the back of the truck, which is a pretty cool function, so you don't have to uh, be afraid to lose that weapon as you store the set maybe for years to come. Size-wise, we're pretty good. 35 centimeters or 13.5 inches high, 18.5 centimeters or seven inches wide. So it's gonna be a significant, it's gonna be a significant model. I think there are some lifestyle shots that kind of show you exactly compared to a person. By the way, again, Lego is trying to kind of recreate the colors of the set with the interior they staged for that shoot. So it's kind of cheesy. Uh, whatever, but I guess for the overall photo composition it works okay even the table is kind of resembling the color scheme of the Transformer Optimus Prime. Anyway, it's gonna be a sizable set, so your typical Ninja Go Mac will probably be a little bit smaller than this, so that's okay, and I mean that's supposed, it's supposed to be a significant beefy set, it's gonna be a collectible that's gonna be iconic and remembered for years to come, remember? That is a very iconic and historical collaboration we're speaking of. Love the contemporary art! This one too, even the, this metal cube, cubical storage is also resemblant of the color scheme. The track looks actually cool. I, I can see people buying two of these to have the track and Optimus Prime at the same place at the same time. Yeah, just like that. Disclaimer should be like, not a single set. You need to buy two sets to achieve that look, obviously. Ah, yes, a slider shot of the assembly. I'm jealous of this guy again. As always, I see them build them early. I'm very jealous. What you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. First, tell me, uh, how do you feel about the set itself and how do you feel about this historical collaboration? That opens so many possibilities. It's kind of insane if you think about it. We can have, I don't know, from the top of my head, My Little Pony, that's kind of a Hasbro thing. Oh, so many other, th oh my, the Hasbro has holding, is holding so many, so many insane licenses. There's gonna be so many things that can happen from that collab. It's the same thing I've been saying for PlayStation and Tolnek. That opens up a whole new pathway to new gaming sets, possibilities, you name it. This, the, the Optimus Prime opens a whole new pathway of LEGO opening collaborations with companies like that. Heck, maybe it's gonna be uh, some mega constructs uh, crossover with LEGO in the future. Like mega constructs is holding, I don't know, Game of Thrones. Tons of other things, uh, Halo, I think. Maybe not Call of Duty, because Call of Duty is still gonna be like a military thing, LEGO will never really do that. But there is still plenty of lores, plenty of things that LEGO can do in collaboration with such companies. Uh, they figured out clearly there is a way to do a crossover licensing. Uh, they might have paid a lot of money for this. We maybe pay that in that little bit, bit of a higher price compared to the piece price to piece ratio. There is a tax to it that is, you know, placed upon customers, but I'm kind of all for that if that means we're gonna be having more lores previously unreachable by LEGO and uh, which will deliver us the AFOS things that we would otherwise have to get from other companies. I'm, I'm all for that. I really want to see that happen. There is, it can be like years of collaboration that's gonna bring more sets that were previously unspoken of. Like Optimus Prime, nobody believed that it would ever happen. So people just relied on mocks up to this point. All right, comment sections open below, like, subscribe, you know how this works. Super cool, fun little news coverage, super cool fun set. Not, 
not, not small, not cheap, but definitely worth it. Okay, uh, thanks so much for watching. It was Mike, and I'll talk to you very soon. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, bye.